Hi everybody. On stage 5, not Van Aert or Groves, yet Pavel Bittner took this sprint home. Rui Costa at EF was involved in a crash during today's stage and had to abandon the race. The GC going into stage 6 remains unchanged, while in the green jersey competition Wout Van Aert extends his lead on Groves. There were no changes in the fight for the polka dot jersey, yet you can expect a fight for points on stage 6. Because on stage 6 we move back into the mountains yet with relatively mellow climbs in the 6-7% to average gradient range. In total, the riders will be gaining 3,700 meters of elevation gain over 185 km. Unlike stage 4 where I expected a breakaway, this stage really has break written all over it. So I'm going once more for a breakaway bonanza. Here's the stage shots at the time of recording with Wout van Aert as the main favorite. And then here's the riders to watch in my book. Van Seven on that quick step, Narvaez at Ineos and Soler at UAE. At Visma Lisebike I was in first instance thinking about Falter, yet the book is putting Van Aert on the top spot made me think. It would indeed be a stage where he can be the fastest man surviving to sprint to victory, yet for that to happen Visma Lisebike would have to control the stage and it's not a scenario I'm expecting. Bora will regroup around Roglic and I personally think they won't be bothered to give the red jersey out of hands here. I will be watching Rigoberto Uran at EF, already at over 17 minutes in GC, Pacher at Grupama and Pelayo Sanchez at Movistar who sits at over 10 minutes on GC. Depending on the composition of the breakaway and having seen what he could do in, in the Dauphiné, Lascano could also do well here in my opinion. I'd love to see some Bennett action at Israel Premier Tech, yet he may be marked. Also watch out for Marco Frigo, Tejada at Astana, Schmidt Orzana at Jaico Alula and Ciccone at Little Trek, Lorenzo Rota at Eter Marche, Christian Rodriguez at Arkea Samsic, Andreas Kron at Lotto Destiny and Jesus Herrada at Cofidis. At AG2R, Gal is too short on GC and I expect Pare Panther to focus on the steeper stuff, so I'm calling Armirai and Lafay instead. And finally, Luis Angel Mate is from this region, so I expect him in the break as well. In terms of stars, Kron and Narvaez are my four star favorites for this stage. Sanchez and Ciccone get three stars. Lascano and Schmidt get two stars. And Herada, Tejada, Armirai and Rota each get one star. In terms of podium prediction, I'm calling Narvaez for the win ahead of Sanchez and Kron. Thanks for watching, enjoy the stage and see you tomorrow for my stage 7 preview.